Hi, James Stewart from marketingwithjames.com. Uh, coming to you with a quick video today on how to install Google Analytics uh, into your WordPress um, blog. Now, initially, I, I, you know, I really thought this is going to be really complicated. When I first came across Google Analytics, I thought, well, you know, installing this into a WordPress blog, you know, this is going to be really, really difficult and really hard. It's actually really, really easy, um, and hopefully, I'll be able to guide you through this process. Uh, and you'll be able to get your analytics uh, code set up uh, with your blog and hopefully you won't have any problems with it it's really really simple and, and let me show you how um, if you go to the Google Analytics homepage um, just type in Google Analytics into Google uh, it'll, you'll come to like a login type page here um, if you haven't got an account with Google Analytics not a problem uh, you, you'll see a little uh, link down here saying sign up now just hit that hit that link and you'll come to this page, it's really, really simple. Uh, create an account, um, all you need in there is your current email address. Uh, you'll need to um, generate a password at the location that you're at, whereabouts in the world you are, uh, a word ver verification code. And just accept the the the, the, um, the button there to, to accept the terms and conditions and create an account. Um, obviously, I, I have already got an account with Google Analytics, so I shall go to uh, the home page and I'll log in right now. Okay, so now I'm logged into my Google Analytics account. I've scrolled down the page slightly, but you can see there that um, my website domain, my blog domain, is already in Analytics there. Um, what I'm going to do is, for the purpose of this video, I shall... Um, create uh, an analytics account for a, 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 a sort of a fantasy website if you like one that doesn't exist but it's just for an example just to show you what we're looking at now obviously if if, if you're new to Google Analytics and you haven't got an account with Google you haven't got any domains um, registered with Google Analytics you won't see anything there like I am like I've got this account here which is my blog um, but you will see this button here saying add website profile we need to click on that Okay, quite simply, all we're doing is adding a new profile for a new domain. Okay, and that's that's you need to make sure that, that circle there is checked. Go down to the URL box down here uh, and type in the domain, um, which will be in your case probably your the the domain name for your blog. Okay, which is what we're looking at at the moment. We're looking at the domain name for your blog. Um, alternatively, if you've got a website that you want to install analytics on, uh, then you would put the name of that website in there. But for now. If I just type in there www.jamesstuartblog.com Okay, as I said, just to reiterate, you would type in there the name of your blog. Okay, uh, obviously, again, the drop down menu, just put in there whereabouts in the, 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 the world that you are and hit finish. Okay, it takes you to a tracking code page. Um, what it's done is it's generated a, a, a little unique number for you here. This is the number that we're interested in. Okay, now what we need to do is we'll leave this page open for now. If we go to the WordPress um, dashboard login page. Now this will be the page. I, I mentioned in a previous video that you will get a URL for a, the, 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 the website address for a WordPress uh, login page where you can access the dashboard for your WordPress blog and uh, administer it. Um, if we, I'll just log in here. If you log into your WordPress account like I have here, um, what we're looking at um, is on the left hand side you've got plugins. Now if you click on the add new, add new button there and we'll do a little search here for there's more than one and you'll see that shortly Google Analytics search plugins as I say there's more than one uh, result that comes back I'll just move this across so you can see what we're, what we're dealing with here um, we're actually looking for this one here Google Analytics for WordPress okay this is the one that we're, that we're, that we're talking about I'm not actually going to install this um, the install buttons here if you hit that button it will install it automatically um, you'll just hit that button and leave it alone it, it'll install straight away um, but this is the one we're looking at now when you install it I'll just scroll back here and go back to plugins on the left hand side and just click on the installed link 
and this is I mean as it stands now this is a list of all the plugins that I've got installed on my uh, my blog you will only see if you've only got um, Google Analytics for WordPress you will only see this one um, you do have to um, put the code in that's generated in Google Analytics I'll, I'll, I'll run through that now if you click on the settings button there now remember me saying um, that this is the I'll just go back to the analytics site this is a code here that we need to be putting in because this code will link up to your to your blog uh, your WordPress blog and and that's what that's what basically that code will tell Google Analytics that that is the website that we're taking the code from or the analytics stats from you just copy and paste it into there so copy that hit copy and then you basically paste it into that box there uh, where should the tracking script be placed don't worry about that too much um, it can go anywhere um, check out bound clicks and downloads make sure that box checked and just basically hit on the update Google Analytics um, that really is it uh, when you do that it, it might take a short while um, I'll just hit the back button here and go back through this it might take a short while but eventually once it's all set up and it's all up and running um, that um, you can see it's on it's on Google Analytics now that um, triangle there that warning triangle will basically um, eventually turn to a green tick um, at the minute it's saying that tracking is not installed that's because we haven't installed this UA code here um, properly but once you've done what I've, I've, I've told you to do if once you've followed the instructions in this video um, that will eventually catch up and it'll turn to a green tick and it'll start receiving data and your analytics on your blog will soon be uh, will, will be picked up um, that really is it I hope that's been clear enough to understand um, obviously if there's any problems with that um, go to my uh, my blog uh, marketingwithjames.com uh, and leave me a message but um, for now um, that's how we install Google Analytics into WordPress and I'll see you in the next video